Hey everybody, it's Paula here from the XR Club and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to look at something a little bit different. Today's video is based on a question that was asked to me over the weekend. And the question that was asked of me was that, is it possible to audit the Ether blockchain using Excel? Now, very simply, the Ether blockchain is a public blockchain that is known for its transparency. So that means that anybody with the right tools and the right knowledge can connect to the blockchain and can gather information about transactions and about contracts and analyze them as they see fit. Is it possible to do this with Excel? Well, the answer is yes, but it really kind of depends on the scope and the nature of the audit that you're doing. If you're auditing wallet addresses, for example, this is relatively simple using Excel. But if you're auditing a contract, you'd need to know a little bit about code and Excel isn't the best tool for auditing code. It's something that you need to go through manually and test and see if the code actually stacks up. But there are other types of audits that you can do on contracts using Excel. And what we're going to look at very quickly in this video is the Etherscan API for getting information from the Ether blockchain into Excel. Now, I'm not going to go through any audit techniques. I'm not going to go through anything like that. This is basically a quick introduction video for those that would like to use Excel to explore the Ether blockchain a little bit further. So the first thing you will need to do if you want to connect to the Ether blockchain is get yourself an API. Now I'm using etherscan.io and there are other APIs available and some of these other APIs give you additional information that's not available on the etherscan API or is only available on the pro version. So if you go to etherscan.io and then APIs and go to the introduction page, you'll see here that you'll need a free API key and you need to sign up with the cl client portal to get your actual API key. Now, when you sign up to the portal, you will set up your profile and in here you can get your API key. Now I have my API key already set up. I'm gonna have to change it when it's over because you don't want other people using your API key. So I will remove this API key when I am finished using this video. So let us just go back here now to the developers API. And in here, you'll find all of the details that you need for creating your API endpoints. Now the APA, API endpoints using Etherscan are HTTP um, endpoints. So it means that you can easily get these using a web connection in Excel. So some of the APIs that are available, well, you can get either balances for a single address for multiple addresses. And then you'll see some with pro because you need the pro API. So to get the historical ether panels for a single address by block is pro. And there's all these other ones available in here that you can get. In terms of contracts, you can get details for the contracts, transactions, blocks, logs, and then you can just get stats information as well. So we can get the total supply of Ether and get the latest Ether price. Now we're gonna look at the two of these and we're also going to look at getting the Ether balance for a single address. So what I've done is basically set up a simple Excel spreadsheet. Now all of these HTTPS requests in here is a copy and paste of the API call that you will see there on the Etherscan page. So get the Ether address that I've copied that and I basically pasted that into Excel. And from here, I'm going to create my own request because you need to add in your own API key. So looking at the HTTPS request for the total Ether supply, if we go into the cell, we can see that it looks for everything is standard up until you put in your API token. So you need to replace the end of this with your API token. So I have basically split this down. I have main, I then have my API token, and then I've combined these cells using ampersand to create the HTTPS, which basically adds my API to the end of it. Now, if I copy this, and if I go to data and from web, 
Now, once you go to from web, we can then paste in our HTTPS request and say, okay, and this will go then and start scanning the API to pull back the details that we're looking for. So at the moment, it has pulled back for us a, a JSON format of data, and we need to convert this into a table. So the status is okay, the message is, or the status is one message okay, and the result has come in. So we're gonna convert this to a table. Now we only want the result here. So what we can do is remove top rows. And if we remove the two top rows, we are left with our value. If we close and load this now into Excel, it's gonna load into a table in Excel. Now to get the actual real value, you need to divide it by the power of 18 when you're looking at, at either. So I'm gonna just format that a little bit. And that is how we can quickly get the total supply of ether. So that there is the total supply of ether. We can also get the last price. So I've done the same. I've copied the API. So if we go back in and it's under stats, so get the last ether price. So I've copied this into my Excel sheet and I've then broken it down so I can add in my API. I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna to go to our data from web, paste in my API request, my HTTPS request. And we see this time we are pulled back with a record. Now I've opened the record. I'm gonna just click up, undo that step. We see here the result is returned in a record. This record is returned inside the JSON file. Now I have a detailed article and video on working with JSONs if you're interested in reading that. But very simply, we can expand this and it will expand all the details that are included in that record. We can then convert this into a table. So we see now we have the price in here of Ether to US dollar and Ether to BTC. And then we also have a timestamp for these. Now we can close and load close and load this into Excel. And we've now loaded these values directly into a set Excel, and they can be used then to carry out any conversions that we might want to carry out on other details that we may have exported. So that's the total supply and it is the pricing. I also have in here another sample, which is get the address balance. Now the address balance, the HTTPS request is quite long. And if we look up in our formula bar, in the sample, it gives us a sample address, but we want to replace this with a wallet address that we want to look up. Now these addresses will all begin with zero X because that is how the addresses begin. So basically I've broken this down to the main, which is the first half up to the address. I've then put in a field for address. I've next put in the next part of the HTTPS request which is and tag an API key, but I've deleted this your API key. We see here, I've deleted the your API key, added my API key in here, which means I can very quickly create a link. And at any stage, I can just change the address and the link will update. That's why I've done it this way. So I go to my data from web, place in my value. Now this is the ether balance. It doesn't include any tokens that would be included in a particular wallet. So we see here it is brought in a result for us. Again, I'm going to remove the top two rows because we don't need them. So I remove the top two rows and I can close and load this and we will close and load it. And then we're going to have to divide this so I'm going to divide it by 10 to the power of 18 to get the actual ether balance. Now we can double check that and make sure we're actually pulling in the right detail. So just let me grab this address here and we'll go back to the internet and to ether scan. Ether scan. And I'm going to just whack that address in here. And we can see here now that we have 0.8287 ether. 
And if we go to our spreadsheet, what have we pulled in in our spreadsheet? 0.8287 ether. So we see that we can verify these results as well by looking at either scan. Now, they're very, very simple one line type data pulls that we can do, but we can also pull more detailed information such as transactions. So we could get a normal list of transactions for an address. So I'm going to copy this API that I have created down here, copy the link. So again, I've carried out the same steps so I can create a link and anytime I want to look at a different address, I can just change the address in here. So now I will go to data from web. I will just add in the URL. Now this is going to be a little bit more complex. It's going to bring back rows of data with, with transaction details. So we can see here that it is connecting to the actual data, it's searching through the blockchain and it is returning for us a list within this JSON. So let's click on the list and the list contains a series of records. So we'll convert this to a table. We won't worry about any errors. And then we're going to expand the actual records. And when we expand the records, the details that we get, for example, are block number, timestamp, hash, denounce the block hash. If we scroll over, we have the transaction index the from, the to, the value, the gas, the gas price, all different details about the individual transactions. We have a contract address, we have inputs and so forth. Now, again, if there is a value, so there's a value in here, when there's value in Ether, you need to divide it by to the power of 10. So let's close and load this into Excel. So here we have our table of transactions. Now this is only the last, I think it only pulls in the last 1000 transactions. There isn't a last 1000 transactions on this. There is only 81 after coming in. So let's add a new column to bring in the price of ether. So we will take in our values column, value divided by 10 to the power of 18. So understanding that it needs to be divided by 10 to the power of 18 is basically down to understanding the how the data is actually stored in the blockchain. So now we have an either value for each of these transactions. Looking at a table like this can be a little bit daunting if you don't know what you are looking at. But what you can do is verify all of these types of transactions against the the blockchain. So you've got a block number and a hash number and you've got a transaction number and you can put all these into Etherscan if you're just learning this to try and figure out what each of the fields mean. Now, if I was auditing this account, I would insert a pivot table very quickly and I would look at the from accounts and I would look at the count of the two accounts. So we can see that the actual wallet that we're looking at is this particular wallet here. And this is sent to our had transactions with 77 different other wallets. Now what we can do is put in some values here. So we have our value, even though it is 700 or even though it's 77 wallets, there's only 1,015 of ether that has been moved between these particular wallets. Now there's two other wallets as well. and because they're not the same wallet, you know, this is kind of funds coming in. So we can see that, well, one of them is definitely funds coming in because it's from the from. So yeah, it, these are funds coming in. So we could analyze these and see how many, um, or see what sort of relationship there is between these actual wallets. I'm just gonna paste this and I'm gonna change these around. So instead of my, I'm gonna have count of my two, so now we, I've just literally changed them around. So these are all the wallets that we have sent to, and we can see how much we have sent to each of these wallets. Now there's been eight transactions to this wallet, and it could be highly likely that these two wallets are actually related to each other. 
So that is kind of the types of things that you would be doing in an audit. And I said I wasn't going to go through that in this video. I just wanted to quickly introduce you to the Etherscan API. So to answer the question, is it possible to audit the Ether blockchain in Excel? Well, it depends on what it is you're looking to audit. There are contract details. If we go back into the developer in here, we see contract. You can actually even pull in the source code into Excel, um, but you need, as I said, coding knowledge to understand what's going on in the contract itself. So yes, you can audit the Ether blockchain using the APIs that are available. And this is only one of the APIs that is available out there at the moment. Um, it's a, a very specific to certain people will want to do something like this. And a couple of years ago, I used to do a lot of data analysis and auditing of the Hive blockchain. And at the time it was suggested to me to start taking a look at the Ether blockchain, and I never did. And this is the very first time that I've taken a look at it through Excel. I'm really quite excited by it. It's something that I would love to explore a little bit more. So do stay tuned because I'm sure I will have more videos on it. I think auditing the blockchains are becoming very, very topical and very, very important. And I hope to cover some of that sort of stuff in the future. So if you like this video, I do hope you will give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more of my videos. And do share this video across your social profile. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye now.